Hey guys, welcome back to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to add a jump cooldown into your game so you can't constantly jump. So this is good if you're making like an endless runner or something like that where you want to be able to jump but you can't spam it so you jump then two seconds later you're able to go again. So let's get right into it. What we're going to do first off is open up the third person character blueprint or whichever character you're working in. So mine is third person BP, blueprints, third person character. And then you see here we have the jump code here. So what we're going to do is just move this down here so we can use it a bit more and have a bit more space. And then we're just going to straight away make a new variable. So we'll hit plus variable, make sure it's a boolean. I'm going to call this can jump or something along those lines. So once you've done that, hit compile and we'll set this by default to be true. So by default, the player can jump. So what we're going to do is move out the jump and stop jumping functions. Just move them out a bit over here and off of pressed, we're just going to straight away get a branch like so. And keep true going to jump and keep stop jumping just on the released. And for the condition for this branch, we're gonna be using the can jump boolean that we just made. So put that in there like that. And what this means is if you can jump, then obviously it's gonna jump. And if you can't jump, then it's not gonna do anything. So then after we have jumped, we're gonna to want to set the can jump variable to false. So then you can't jump again. So set that there, leave it unticked. And then come off of this and we'll get a delay like so. And this is where you're going to set how long you want the interval to be between the jumps. So if you want it to be so you can jump every one second or every two seconds, or every three seconds, that's where you put this in. So for me, I'm just going to put it as two. So a duration of two like that. This means that after two seconds, you can jump again. And so to set that up, we're just going to want to set the can jump variable again, but this time tick it to set it to true. So I'm just going to extend this comment around the whole thing like this, rename it jump with cooldown. And that is it, it's literally, it is as simple as that. So when you press the input action for jump, which is space by default, but you can add more. If you can jump, then it will jump, set can jump to false, after two seconds, set it to true again. And if you jump and then try to before the two seconds are up, it will just simply do false and then do nothing. So let's test this out. So if we hit compile, minimize and play this, you can see that we jump. And if I keep hitting space, I can't jump and then I can after two seconds. So jump and jump after two seconds is up. So that works perfectly. So I can jump, I can't jump, and now I can because the two seconds delay is up. So that works out perfectly. So I think that'll be it for this video. We've done everything we wanted to do. We've set up the cooldown and the delay so you can't just constantly jump and spam it. You have to wait the desired amount that you've set up to be able to jump. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.